astral projection is actually real. And the reason that I'm making this video is because I really wanted to address this aspect of the community, which I think needs talking about. And I know this might cause a lot of uh, controversy, especially amongst other uh, lucid YouTubers and people that are more scientific, logical minded. However, I do have a few things to say, which I think will, it should make sense for most of you, all right? So the reason, the, my main point here is this. There are many phenomena in this world which science cannot explain. That doesn't mean these things don't happen, it just means science can't explain them. And these are, there are all sorts of things. For example, near-death experiences, out-of-body experiences, premonitions, deja vu, all sorts of things, right? Which science just simply cannot explain at the moment. That doesn't mean these things don't happen, because they do. It just means that there isn't a scientifically validated way of proving them for whatever reason. Maybe science hasn't caught up, maybe there's not enough interest or reason to fund such a study. That's a big one, right? You've got to consider who actually funds these scientific studies in the first place. Often it's pharmaceutical companies or people with a financial motive. There is almost no financial motive to prove astral projection, and even if there were, it doesn't mean that they would do it because it's just not as profitable as, for example, funding a study on a new drug, you know, or a new device or a new technology that could potentially be sold for a profit. So that's my first point. The second point is this. Consider lucid dreaming, right? And most of you have, uh, I assume, if you're watching this channel or if, you know, if you teach lucid dreaming or if you have read a lot about lucid dreaming, you know it's real because it's been scientifically proven, right? But if you were to... And also I assume because at least some of you will have had a lucid dream and so you know the experience is real because you have experienced it, right? Now this is very important. If someone were to ask you in the, 90, in the 1700s, for example, to prove lucid dreaming scientifically, you wouldn't be able to, or at least no one had done it yet. The first official proof scientifically of lucid dreaming was in 1975. Any time before that, you, people were still lucid dreaming. Thousands of people throughout history have been lucid dreaming, you know, since the dawn of time. But it was only scientifically proven in 1975. Now, that doesn't mean that lucid dreaming didn't exist before then. It did. And probably millions of people had experienced it before it was scientifically proven. The same thing is true of astral projection. Just because it's not been scientifically proven, that doesn't mean it's not real. And this is a huge distinction which I think so many people just misunderstand. Just because something isn't scientifically proven, that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. And this is, you know, that's, that's probably the biggest example I can give of that. You're so sure that lucid dreaming is real because you've either had it yourself, you've, you've experienced it yourself, or you've come across the study proving it's real scientifically. But you could have experienced it before that study was released. And just because, even if there was no study proving lucid dreaming, most of you watching this would still believe in lucid dreaming because, because you've experienced it. And this leads me to point number three, which is a very important one. Just because you haven't experienced something doesn't mean it's not real. And it also doesn't mean that other people haven't experienced it. And so you've got to look at the evidence. You've got to look at the mountains and mountains of anecdotal subjective evidence from millions of people across the world throughout history who claim to have astral projected. You can't ignore that. Just in the same way that before lucid dreaming was proven officially, there were also millions of people who had stories and experiences uh, and you know knowledge of lucid dreaming before it was officially proven in a lab. So for those reasons and for reasons as well, like for example, I've personally had experiences which I could not attribute to lucid dreaming. These are vastly different experiences which can only be described as something in a different realm of reality, not lucid dreaming. I know what lucid dreaming is like. I've you know, I teach lucid dreaming, astral projection is very different. And I know this goes against what I said previously because I made a video before, I wasn't as open-minded, I didn't really consider the points that I'm making in this video. Uh, I was just purely focused on what scientific studies are out there and what can be proven on paper in a lab. I'm not gonna repeat myself, but yeah, just think about it. Just because something isn't proven or you've not experienced it, doesn't mean it's not real. And especially when I've, since making that video, had personal astral projection experiences, which cannot be explained by lucid dreaming. Uh, you know, I have to now make this video and say that I've changed my mind. I know there'll probably be some hate for this video. Maybe not, I hope there won't be, because I feel like the audience and humanity as a whole is gradually opening their mind and becoming more conscious and aware and open to new ideas. 
but there will also be those of you who are so rigid in your scientific thinking that you have to see proof or evidence. But I would encourage you to just, just consider the points I've made in this video. You know, I might be wrong, but it's more likely that I'm right, especially when you consider the millions of people who have also had astral projection experiences. And I feel like we're missing the point here. It doesn't matter if it's not scientifically proven, because if people are experiencing it, why would they lie? You know, why would they? And so, okay, so I'm going to end with this point. And uh, I think this is a very important one as well. And a big argument that I feel like uh, will be made against this video is this the following. How do you know that you didn't just have a lucid dream, which you thought was an astral projection experience? Very good point. And that's the point I made when I made my astral projection is fake video. The following reasons, okay? So firstly, a vast number of the people who have astral projected usually share a story which is a significant point or is a significant uh, story which demonstrates something or an ability that could not happen in a lucid dream. If we go by the, sci the scientific definition of a lucid dream, it's all in our mind. It's contained within our brain and it only happens to us. Therefore anything, and I mean anything, in an experience such as an astral projection which you know you would argue could be a lucid dream cannot have any link to the outside world and yet there are many stories of astral projectors being able to influence the outside world being able to communicate with people who later contacted them and said hey i felt like i should contact you today being able to gain information read information uh, and all sorts of things which could not happen in a lucid dream the odds are like something like 10 million to one that anything would be reliable from a lucid dream. And yet astral projectors, there are many stories. Just research, just, uh, you know, Google them. The second point, and this is where I probably might lose a few of you, but you've got to consider that astral projection, you've got to consider that astral projection is traveling through the astral realm. It's not, op you're not operating in 3D, in the 3D, di in the third dimension, okay? you're operating the fourth dimension which is the temporal dimension we have three spatial dimensions and then one temporal dimension which is the fourth dimension we as humans in the 3d world move through the fourth dimension we, that we know as time in a linear fashion meaning we go from point a to point b we can't go backwards we can't go back in time we can't go forward in time except at the standard rate of aging what we know as progressing through time or growing older. Now, the idea or the concept behind astral projection is that your astral body can interact with 4D time and go back and forward in time. It can also travel through different dimensions. And this is where it gets a bit confusing because you can have astral projectors, astral projecting into a future version of the next room or a different dimension version of the next room and therefore you can get false positives, false negatives, etc. when you're trying to prove astral projection. It also doesn't help that most people who have experienced astral projection just haven't bothered to practice it or aren't that skilled at doing it. And so you get a lot of stories which explain astral projection very well, but you also get a lot of stories, and this is important, which describe astral projection as something that could have happened in a lucid dream because the people either weren't skilled at astral projecting in the first place maybe it's their first or second time, or, and this is more likely, they astral projected in a different dimension or in a different timeline where things that would have proved astral projection are different because it's a different dimension or a different timeline. So in order to prove astral projection, and this is what I would encourage any of you who've had this experience to, to try and do, is you need to practice it. And you need to get so good that you can actually decide which timeline and which dimension to project into and then go into the next room read something off the bookshelf read something off you know the, the standard ways that you would say uh the scientific minded amongst you would say well prove it go into the next room and read the word that i just wrote down on this piece of paper much more easily said than done because when you're astral projecting you're separating your subtle body from your physical body and that takes a lot of practice and skill it's very difficult to do very difficult far more difficult than lucid dreaming which is why i've only had a handful of astral projection experiences and thousands of lucid dreams however it is possible and it is learnable i think i'm going to end the video there i have got much more to say and i will be making more videos about this in the future but i really just want to hear what you guys think and i hope i don't um freak out my audience too much by saying this but i i hope that if you've watched this video and actually listened to everything i've said some of it should make sense to you 
but I would love to hear what you think. I do have a slightly weird voice today because I've just had a cold for a few weeks, so I do apologize for my weird sounding voice. Leave a comment, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description and you'll find links to various Lucid Dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.